All right, welcome and happy February. In February, we emphasize heart health. It is Heart Health Month. Um, it's Valentine's Month, which kind of goes with Heart Health Month, at least from a visual perspective. So we want to encourage you uh, to really uh, take control of your heart health. There are a lot of activities. Look at the activities calendar that is put out by Chelsea Burrell. Uh, make sure you complete those activities and uh, and then check off on the calendar that you've done those things. You know, our mission as an organization is to make our communities healthier, and we want to start that uh, by seeing all of us who work here uh, be healthy ourselves. So join in the fun and make this a heart-healthy February. Recently, uh, we were honored to have our quarterly service awards luncheon. This is a time when we get to take a moment of pause uh, and honor those folks who have hit milestones of service to our organization, our community, in five-year increments, beginning with five years and going all the way up to whenever it goes. And this time around, we were able to honor a group of folks who collectively, I think, had something like 175 years of service to our organization. It's always such an honor uh, to do that. I say it every time. It's one of my four favorite uh, times of the year. So congratulations to all of you who have reached those milestones of service. As we say, uh, every time we have this thing, you are the real leaders of our organization. You're the people that folks look to, to show them the way, to show them how we do things. And we're so grateful for your service to our organization and to our community. So we want to congratulate Norma Jean Burdett, otherwise known as Marilyn Monroe, and Tanisha Connor on winning the uh, DAISY Award uh, recently. You know, the DAISY Award is a national award. Uh, it is a program that honors the amazing clinical skill of nurses along with the compassionate care. Uh, that nurses give to patients on a daily basis. We have been uh, pleased to honor a number of uh, winners of this award, and we're really uh, excited for and proud of Norma and Tanisha for winning this award uh, recently. Thanks to both of you for the care and compassion, uh, the expert clinical care, but equally as important, the compassion that you show uh, to our patients on a daily basis. We are so honored to be a, a DAISY Award program partner, and we're honored when we get to recognize nurses like Norma and Tanisha who win this award. So congratulations. We want to thank all of our employees and our community members who participated recently in the American Red Cross Blood Drive. Uh, the Red Cross is experiencing a winter shortage of blood products, and so your donation uh, really uh, gives literally life-saving uh, uh, gifts to people throughout our communities and uh, throughout our country. So we're so grateful uh, to be able to host an event like that throughout the year. Um, and we're, we're grateful for each individual who uh, gives of themselves, literally, uh, so that others uh, can have uh, the care they need uh, through the American Red Cross. Um, we invite you to visit uh, the Red Cross website uh, and look for other opportunities that may exist in our communities and certainly in the future at our hospitals uh, to contribute in this way. So as I talked about in the um, introduction, February is National Heart Health Month and we want uh, to encourage everyone in our organization to really take control of your heart health uh, through healthy eating, through exercise, um, and, and we have a number of events uh, aimed at helping you do that. So visit the internet and learn more about the activities uh, that we have going on in our organization as a part of National Heart Health Month. And uh, let's all get plugged into those events and take control of our health so that we can be in a position to live out our mission of making communities healthier. 
We want to welcome Leslie Morris, a nurse practitioner who has joined Harris Pulmonary and Sleep Center. Leslie brings a great uh, set of skills to help us care for patients in that specialty. So please make sure you welcome her and uh, make her feel a part of the team as she gets started practicing here. HR has told me to say that if you have opted to receive your W-2 online, uh, they are available now. If you did not do that and you're going to be getting a paper W-2, those should have been mailed by January 31st. So either you should have them or you should be getting them in the next uh, couple of days. If you experience any difficulty with that, please contact Human Resources. We once again want to really remind ourselves to always introduce uh, ourselves to our patients and their families, make them feel warm, welcome, do the same for new members of our team. I just this morning uh, had an opportunity to speak to an orientation group, and we want everyone coming into our organization for the first time or for the hundredth time to feel welcome, uh, to feel like they're with family and that they're with people who uh, want to take care of them as if they were the person who we love the most. And that's really kind of a theme for 2019 for us. We want every experience with every patient, every family member, and uh, all of our team members to be conducted with that thought in mind. What if this was the person who you love the most? So that starts by always acknowledging uh, our patients and their families and introducing ourselves so that they feel welcome at a really uh, often frightening time. So help us out with that and we can continue to make significant differences in the lives of the people who we're honored to serve. So make sure you stay connected to us by uh, interacting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the intranet. We have lots going on. We have uh, frequent updates uh, about our organization on all of those sites. Uh, get plugged in and get those updates so that you're informed with the latest and greatest information about what's happening in our organization. You know, it's always my honor to work alongside all of you as we um, pursue our mission of making communities healthier. Thanks for tuning in this month. Remember to have a heart healthy month. Let's make it a heart healthy year. Uh, and let's all come together as we continue to serve patients and families from throughout this large region that we're honored to serve. I want to thank you all for the hard work that you do every day. And uh, please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions you may have. Uh, I look forward to seeing all of you around our facilities. Um, give me a call if you have any questions. My cell number is 828-508-0096, and I'd love to hear from you. Have a great month.